Hey, so the question is, where do I start, Randy? What should I be doing in order to reach my, uh, in order to succeed with my fitness, right? Uh, is it uh, nutrition? Should I be counting my macros and my calories? Or is it exercise? Or is it, uh, should I be running? Should I be doing strength training? Well, let me tell you what, I'm gonna give you the key right now, the first place to start. And this is an exercise that I'm gonna give you. What you're gonna do is first, right now, Pause this video and go get a piece of paper and pen. Pause. All right, hopefully you're, you paused, you got your paper and your pen, you came back. If you didn't, pause it right now and do that. All right, so here we go. See all this behind me? This is success. This is what success looks like. And you know how these people got here? By taking step one. And step one is your goals. You have to have a goal. Because if you don't know where you're going, how are you going to get there? You have to decide where you're going, what you want to achieve, and then take action toward, towards getting there. So just like these people, I've got folks who decided, I want to run a 5K, I want to lose 100 plus pounds, I want to get, my, get muscles, right? Like I want to uh, achieve these results, and that's what these people have done. You have to uh, decide what you're gonna do is number one. Number two, you have to write it down. I mean, you. Number one is so important. You gotta, you gotta have a goal. But number two, if you don't write it down, the scientific research shows, this is a, I think it was called Dominican University that did the research that said 42% like, uh, more likely to reach your goals if it's written down compared to just in your head. So you could just uh, go ahead and um, listen to this video, get excited for a minute, and then go on with things the way you used to, and then achieve the same results, or you could do something different. And so the way to do something different is this time, go get that paper, get that pen, write it down, your goal. Long-term and short-term. So you're gonna take the long-term goal, you're gonna break it down into smaller segments, those are your short-term goals. And then from there, you're also gonna think about what's the kind of person, uh, what's their lifestyle who, who already has reached that goal, that kind of person. And then you're gonna think about all the different things that that person does in their life. You're gonna say, all right, I'm re ready to take that on. I'm ready to do those things. And this is all the little action steps. How often does this person exercise? How often does that person uh, uh, eat? How, what kind of food do they eat? And how do they think? How do they behave? How do they drive? You know, where do they go? Where do they shop? All those things. That is how you're going to get to your goals is first have the goal to write it down, make a plan. And I just gave you a whole bunch of different ways to start breaking down your goals into nice actionable steps towards making a plan. If you don't start here, there's no reason to take steps two, three, four, five, because you haven't taken step one. This is the foundation for it all. And I'm sorry if it's long-winded, but I promise you it's the most important. Take it as seriously as someone who has already achieved it. And what did they do? They made that goal and then they wrote it down. So that's what I encourage you to do right now. All right, see you later.